four. Okay, question four. Pentalbutanoid is responsible for some of the flavour in apricots and strawberries. And then we have a little picture of it. Uh, hydrolysis of pentalbutanoid using sodium hydroxide produces an alcohol in the salt of the carboxylic acid. Name the alcohol that would be formed when pentalbutanoid is hydrolyzed. Well, you should recognise that what we have here is my ester link. And what you should know is that this bit here gives me the parent carboxylic. And this bit here gives you the parent alcohol. You also should know from the name that the iol group is coming from the alcohol and the anoate is coming from the carboxylic acid. So the alcohol is going to be pentanoanol. I'm saying it's pentanoanol because we ha it could be could have been anywhere else in this chain with little branches sticking off the sides. So you are going to have to give that it's pentanoanol. Draw a structural formula for the sodium salt of the carboxylic acid. So the carboxylic acid that I've got is four. Okay, so this is the, the full acid, but the hydrogen ion that you lose is the one from here. So that's a negative. And then I'm gonna stick my sodium on it and I've got my sodium salt. Okay, you, if you are writing this, it doesn't matter if you flip this over, and you've got the Na on this side, but then you have to have attached it to the O minus attaching to the carbon. Okay, um, so it doesn't matter which way around you've got it, but you must have that that's where the association is. And actually you're getting away with not having to put the charge on, but I think it shows you really understand what you're talking about. Okay, fats and oils belong to the same class of compounds as pentalbutanoate. Name the class of compounds. They are all esters. Okay, triesters in the case of the fats and oils. When a fat is hydrolyzed using sodium hydroxide, sodium salts of the fatty acid produced. State a use for sodium salts of fatty acids. These are one of your fancy hybrid molecules, which we generally use for soap. Okay, hydrolysis of fats using hydrochloric acid produces fatty acids. Stearic acid is a fatty acid that can be made from hydrolysis of beef fat. It is a fuel, uh, sometimes found in fireworks. During combustion, stearic acid produces 623 kilojoules of energy per mole of carbon dioxide produced. Here's your equation. Calculate the energy released in, kilo in kilojoules by combustion of 10 grams of stearic acid. Okay, so what we have here is C17H35COOH to carbon dioxide, because this is how, how I'm going have to have to work from this one. This is one of these to 18 of these, okay? So 240, sorry, 284 grams of this gives you how many moles of carbon dioxide? We need to multiply that by 18, okay? So it gave us 623 kilojoules times 18 for every one of um, carbon dioxide, sorry, every one mole of the stearic acid. So 1,100, sorry, 11,214 per mole of the steric. You're not done by any manner of means. Um, but then you just do, need to do a very simple proportion. 10 grams, therefore, gives you what? So you do 10 divided by 284 times by this number gives you 394.5. Five, nine, so we're going to go 398, sorry, 395 kilojoules per mole. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's released, so we put the minus in. So that's it. So just be really careful. They did put it in bold. I think they were trying to be nice about that, and it, it is clear that's what they're looking for. So you just have to be careful in your calculation. And that's that.